So what the heck does an R value mean? Well, we know that an R value always is going to be between negative 1 and 1. So if it's 1.2, that's not a valid R value. Um, so what does it mean to have an R value? Well, I like to think, so the R value is telling us how um, the correlationships between relationships. So it's telling us that the closer the points are on a line, the stronger the degree of the relationship. That's what R value is telling us. So R value, if you remember in algebra, is like slope, up and over, right? You do up two over two, that's two over two, slope of one. Anyway, um, so it's telling us the correlation between two or multiple points of data, right? So if R data is closer together, um, then it's going to be stronger, right? We're getting similar results. Um, so I like to think of if our data is in a line, I like to think of Red Rover, the game Red Rover, Red Rover. Um, so if we're in a line and we've got arms linked, we have a pretty strong um, line of people or we have a pretty strong relationship. If you have somebody on the other side of the football field and over here and over there, they're not very close. They're not very strongly correlated. Um, so what does it mean to have negative, a negative slope and a positive slope or negative correlation and positive correlation? So our positive correlation, I have some examples. So say so you're doing a research study and you find a positive correlation between something. Um, say, for example, your positive correlation is, is as you increase exercise, you increase weight loss. That's a positive correlation. They're both increasing. Um, as you increase the amount of food somebody eats, they increase in weight. So maybe on your little chart, you have food amounts and weight as you're increasing. So you're going to have a positive slope. It's going to go up and over to the right. So up is positive to the right is positive. So the more food you feed them, the more weight they gain. Maybe it's rats or something. Uh, negative. So what is a negative slope or a negative correlation? So my examples I have written down is maybe you increase fish oil. So you've got fish oil on the bottom and you see a decrease in inflammation. So you're going to have a negative slope. So as they take more fish oil, their inflammation decreases. And these are just examples. So um, another one I have is maybe you are studying packs of cigarettes a day. So as they increase the number of packs of cigarettes they smoke a day, then you have their lifespan goes down. So negative slope. So you're going down and over. Um, so if you can kind of relate this to algebra, you can kind of think about it that way. We're looking at the R value or the slope. Um, or if you're putting this into what is it meaning, a negative positive or a perfect negative correlation is going to be negative one. Um, so I think of Increasing cigarette packs per day decreases lifespan. Um, so that's kind of how I put those together. Um, I would suggest to practice this one. Just make a little graph. Come up with your little study. Do an example of a positive correlation and an example of a negative correlation. And then know, too, if you're ever asked a question about just number values in general, you're not going to have anything that's less or that's not in between negative one and positive one.